Everybody up. Everybody up. Thank you. If you're, come on right up. Come on right up. So, yeah, so if we can make a, if we can make a circle, just a family circle, get the circle a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. So, we just want to, we just want to come and we just want to ask the Lord to prepare our hearts. Is that good? Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just lift up our voices. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, praise you, hallelujah, we worship you, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 we just praise you that we worship a living God, we praise you that we worship you a living God, we praise you, we praise you, Jesus, hallelujah, there's nobody like you, we gladly come and just offer ourselves to you, God, we gladly come and just offer, we worship you, Lord. Come and move freely in this place. Come and move freely in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we just thank you. We just thank you. We just thank you that we worship a living God. We worship a God who is right here, right now, invisible in our midst. Lord, we just worship you, Lord. Open wide, open wide the portals of heaven right here in this place. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this place. Lord, cause our hearts to be soft and supple in your hand. Open the eyes of our understanding even as we worship. Lord, set us free from bondages even as we lift you high above all others, God. We love you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Yes, God, so we give it all to you this morning. Yes, God, would you just continue to realign hearts, realign minds. Yes, God, we're here for you. We're in pursuit of you this morning and every day beyond. We thank you, God. Yes, we thank you that you're so real, you're so alive. And yes, God, that you're, you're just blasting this place. So come and move, come and reign. Yeah, may the banner we fly over this place be your love. Yes, God, thank you, God. We thank you that you're our provider. We thank you that you're a good giver and a good father. Yes, and we lift your name high this morning. Yes, Father, we thank you, Father. Thank you for brought us here safely, Father. I just ask you, the Holy Spirit, come, Father. Come and bow our hearts, Father, to worship you today, Lord Jesus. And we give our hearts to you all, Lord, Father. Give us that, that desire, Father, desire more of you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Papa, we welcome you in this morning. We thank you for your beautiful presence, your beautiful mercy that's come to meet us. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, would you come and flood into the room. We want more and more and more of you. Lord, we say we can't get enough. Jesus, we can't get enough. We can't get enough of your sweet presence in the room. So we say more. Would you come, Lord, would you come? Lord, would you just come? Would you just come? Would you just come? Lord, we just welcome you. We just welcome you. Come, come, come. More of you. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Jesus. Lord, we just come. More of you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Jesus. God, that your presence, God, would just fill this place, God. I just ask, God, that this would be another Saturday, Sunday morning, God, but that you would be here with us, Father. We just ask, God, that every heart would be open, God, that this is not routine, God. This is the place where you come to meet with you, Jesus. I just ask, God, that your presence, God, would fill our hearts, God. I just ask, God, for clean new hearts, God. No matter the junk, God, that we have had this we God, just ask God that you bring it off, Father. We are here for you, Jesus. We are here for you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just invite your holy presence, Heavenly Father. You are worthy to be praised and glorified. You are the holy Lord, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord, we invite you amongst us, Lord. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Touch our hearts, Lord. Prepare our hearts, Lord Jesus. 
You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. We bow before you. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, you say it's living. to stay up here for worship.
Thank you.
Hallelujah, come. Hallelujah, come. Do you know that's not just us calling him Hallelujah, come? Do you know that he swears by his name and he's inviting you to come? He's inviting me to come. So that's not just the song that we sing, Lord, come. It's also his song, you know, that he sings over us and he's saying come he's saying come the mighty god creator of the universe who demonstrated his love through jesus christ his son he's singing this song to you and he's saying come and he's saying come he's saying come he's saying come, come. what is our response he's saying come so could I invite you, just even as an act of a response of something that is inside in your heart, because when you come to the Lord, it's kind of hard to see, but will you demonstrate that? Just invite you, just come to the front. Just come to the front. Just come and stand, just come. Let's come to the front. Let's come to the front as a family we're responding. Come to the front. Hallelujah, Lord, you are in even sing over us. You're saying, my children, my sons and daughters, come. Come. And that's the beauty of being family. Just on Sunday morning, he has so commanded and chosen to, to create his worship with people that we don't usually see each other throughout the week. You know, different generations, you will not a teenager will not usually hang out with a 30-something, 40-something, 50-something. <laughs> you know, and God has so created a family. And this is his song too. Hallelujah. He points by his name and he's inviting God. So if I could just remind, re just invite everyone to come into the center part right in front of the stage right here. Just get closer. Just get closer. What he called a people to himself, he called us by name, it's true, but he also called us as a family. When he comes, he's coming for the church. So would you, would you come? Would you come? Would you grab the hand of somebody who's next to you? Because we... By, by his blood, by his blood. Just go ahead, come a little closer. Come a little closer. And you might be holding hands with somebody. Could be just circles, even closer. Let's get closer, let's get closer. Come a little closer, tighter, tighter, tighter. Closer, closer, closer. You can come and fill in the spacing between if you like to. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Come, would you make room? Would you turn around, take a look to see is there anybody else that needs to come into the circle? Would you wave them in? Would you wave them in? Because see the thing just that when we say come, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, come. It cannot just be you come. It has to be us coming to Him. Us coming to Him. Us coming to Him. And for you to be able to step into this place, and for some of you, some of, some of us may be stepping out of a comfort zone. Stepping out of a comfort zone so we can say it here I'm here you called me I'm here I'm here thank you I'm here now would you do even do this one more thing would you drop your hand would you drop your hand but would you go closer shoulder to shoulder would you close the circle shoulder to shoulder I know shoulder to shoulder shoulder to shoulder so you are making contact with your family right next to you, shoulder to shoulder. And this place is okay because we're brothers and sisters in Jesus. Shoulder to shoulder for eternity. Shoulder to shoulder. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Here we are. Here we are. Here we, we understand, Lord, when you sing over us, come. We hear your come. So here we are coming with our brother, coming with our sister, coming with our older generation, coming with our younger generation, because we know you purchased us for yourself. We are a new creation because of you. Things that we hate about ourselves, things that we hate, the, the things that make us hopeless, God, you have come and you made a way. You came. So we come. 
would you go ahead and tell him, here I am, Lord. Just here I am, Lord. Just even the person next to you can hear you take that breath and can feel the vibration of your voice telling, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Your shoulders are so close to one another. This is what one body is. This is what body is. When you say yes to Jesus, it can be felt by the person on the left. It can be felt by the person on the right. Your yes impacts. Your yes impacts. So would you say, here I am. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I'm coming. I'm here. I come to you. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Sing a song to Jesus. Just sing your song. Oh, we love you, we love you. We love you, King Jesus. We love you, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you. Father God, we want to see a clear vision, a clear vision of you. vessel I just fill every vessel with your love O oh Lord 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 Before we just go into impact prayer, I just want to just share a testimony. And, um, you know, we've been fasting, and all of us have been fasting in some ways. Or I, I encourage you to, to share in this corporate 40 day fast. And I asked the Lord, you know, what should I do? You know, honestly, I, I really hate fasting, I love food, and, uh, you know, when I'm fasting, I don't really fast very well because I'm just dreaming about food and I'm like, oh Lord, I, I need to repent. You know, it's just like thinking of all the places and, you know, my phone somehow, I, I, I get to the Yelp pages or something and I, you know, I go, oh no, this is not really good fasting. You know, my heart is just so far away from you. And so I asked the Lord, how should I fast? And he said, okay, Stephen, I'm going to give you some grace. Just Go every Friday to Prayer Mountain and just, and if you don't know, Prayer Mountain is actually a, a place here. It's, it's in Santa Cruz. And uh, I just went there, you know, like every, well, this starting this Friday, just giving my heart to the Lord and just, just sitting in His presence and just realizing, Jesus, you're so sweet. And I, I thought, oh no, I, I, I'm going to go up there and he's going to just tear me down and show all the things that I need to repent of, you know, like food or just gluttony or just, you know, desire for 
just dreaming about things. And no, he just came in his sweet presence. And there are just little things in life where he smiles and you know he's there. It's just like it was raining and my whole drive it was sunny. And then I told Ju uh, Jupin that I got there and I was just training my mind, just lassoing my thoughts and bringing them back into the excellency of Christ. And then once I got in a place where Jesus, you are good and I just love you. And just when I thought of that, it was just, it was just amazing. Sunshine just broke out and filled the chapel. And I said, wow, you just respond to my heart. What is in, in me is in the natural. And I just so much treasure your presence, O oh Lord. Okay, I just want to share that with you. So you guys can are free to go back and we're going to do impact prayer right now. Just come. Let's see. Can I have the iPad or? Okay. I think some of you guys know, or um, in the past week, you know, uh, Fremont, right? We they have a new sex ed curriculum, and. Uh, it's actually quite graphic. It's starting with fourth graders to sixth graders. And, you know, uh, one of the clauses that shocked me was that fourth graders, because we're living in a more gender neutral society. So fourth grade boys and girls get to learn sex ed in great detail together. And uh, I thought that was kind of um, not very wise because I, I've taught junior high and and stuff and I, I know kids junior high boys and stuff you know it's not just giggling sometimes people I don't know well anyways I don't think it's a, a very good idea but anyways people got shocked and last Wednesday people mobilized the Indian community the Chinese community and I think Jupin said even the Muslim community were trying to um, people are mobilized and some of us actually even went there to the city council to speak up. Um, so actually, Fremont is just kind of, uh, a lot of things are waking up. And, and as a father, and as a Christian father, and the Jesus that I know, um, let's see. I, I'm just so concerned. How come... shifting. Uh, is there some issue with the signal or? What? Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> There's so many paintings of Jesus holding little children. And just imagine if your fourth grade brother, sister, or son, or daughter, you know, if, if they were just taught what they wanted to taught. And how would they even, you know, you see this little cute girl just holding Jesus. And, and Jesus is so much for children's purity and innocence so that they would come before them. You know, I, I've seen documentaries where some of these young people, you know, like in Thailand or something, there's, there's child trafficking. And I remember there was this one um, documentary where just like a 13 or 14 year old, she was caught up in this and she had no trust of any adult. She looked at, you know, this guy who was trying to help him to be a Christian co a worker, trying to be like Jesus and is like, get away from me. Get away from me. So, you know, 
in God's heart, this is very important. And let's read this together, Mark 9:42. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them if a large millstone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. You know, when I think of people who harm children, knowing or unknowingly, in their purity or in their innocence, um, I always think about this verse. And uh, it's, it's really scary. I mean, millstone, you know, it's like a giant boulder hung around your neck. And uh, the Lord wouldn't be pleased. So, okay. So how should we pray? Pray for the community to mobilize uh, this Wednesday. And also we want to pray for the delay of the curriculum. One of the things that, uh, the, one of the issues is that uh, this curriculum is already part of California. It's law. So eventually it will happen. But we are praying for a delay. The reason being is that uh, um, maybe through mobilization in California, things in the future can change. Okay? So, um, actually... Let's see. Uh, how should I do this? <laughs> uh, okay, everybody stand up. I just gather in groups of three or four. And we're just going to pray for people to wake up for the community uh, that people with righteous anger not just the Christian community not just the Chinese community but actually the communities beyond you know actually the Indian community is very involved in this a uh, Lord that the Lord would hear our cries and just mobilize and we want to protect our children protect their innocence their purity oh just come Holy Spirit oh just just come oh just send forth Lord the spirit of intercession oh just come forth oh Lord oh Lord what breaks your heart should break our heart oh lord may we have a passion for the things that are going on oh lord may we tell our neighbors oh tell our friends and family oh lord that it is a time to rise it is time to take a stand it is time to bring righteousness into the land oh may it just rise up Rise up within us, Lord. Oh, like a bubbling brook of your light. Oh, may your righteousness shine like the noonday sun. Oh, may we be, oh Lord, as a salt to the earth. A light on a hill. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon our nation. Have mercy upon our communities, oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon those who do things in ignorance. Oh, Lord, relent. Let's just come, Holy Spirit. And at this time, I, I just want to invite some people to pray out loud. Because I know it is important to speak up. It is important to have our hearts known. Just come, Holy Spirit. Just come, Lord Jesus.
Yes, Lord, we pray that you would protect the children of our city in Jesus' name. Lord, we come against every scheme and lie of the enemy that's trying to take away the purity of these precious ones through the sex education system. We just come against, Lord, the indoctrination of our children into this worldly mindset. Lord, we just thank you. We ask, Lord, you send your angel armies and those who are gonna stand in the gap, we ask, Lord, would you anoint their words that would cause the board and the school system to change their policies. Lord, to be, um, again, according to your word, to establish the education that is according to your word, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's see, could we look for a mother? Judy, wanna pray? Moses can uh, affect them, Father. You alone are God. You alone are Father. We give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask and pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, we just give you all the glory and honor. Oh, Lord, you protect the purity and the innocence of our children especially in this season in this season and also in Fremont we just pray for all the children on all the children oh Lord we just thank you in Jesus name we pray amen